What's up, you guys? My name is Carson Ross. Welcome back to Business Buzz, where we focus on business, entrepreneurship, and investing. Today, I'm going to be talking about whether it's still worth it to contribute to your 401k plan as of 2020. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1500th subscriber, Ty Wilson. I know I acknowledged that in our last video, but I didn't actually give a true shout out to the man, though. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. 401k plans have truly changed the way that Americans retire ever since 1980. And this is because many good employers with a good benefit package offer this to their employees. It's even recommended by so many financial advisors to utilize this tool as an employee. So it's no wonder why so many people do it. But is it still worth it after 40 years of being around? That's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to be explaining what a 401k plan is, whether it's still worth it, and my opinion on the matter, because my opinion is just oh so important. But before we get into the video, please, please go hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. So what is a 401k plan? What is it comprised of? So as you've probably already gathered, a 401k plan is a retirement plan. More specifically, it is a retirement plan offered by an employer to an employee. Many employers often have different provisions on who is eligible to have a 401k plan through the company. For example, a lot of times you'll have to work at the company for at least two or three years before you're eligible to have a 401k plan. If you choose to participate in a 401k, you're going to need to designate a certain percentage of your paycheck to your 401k. For example, if you want to designate 5% of your paycheck to your 401k and you make $1,000 every pay period, that's $50 every two weeks, most likely, that goes towards your 401k. Many employers also offer 401k matching, at least to a certain degree. So if you put in that $50 every pay period, they'll match you and put in another $50 for free, and now you'll have $100 more into your portfolio. 401ks are generally comprised of different funds and bonds. You usually get a choice, but not much of a choice. You know, usually some mutual funds and ETFs that you can pick from. By the way, we have a few videos on mutual funds and ETFs that you can check out right here. And as of 2020, you cannot do more than $19,500 every year to your 401k. They do cap you out because of the tax benefits. Speaking of tax benefits, 401ks are tax deferred, meaning that the money that you take from your paycheck to put in a 401k does not need to be taxed. So that $1,000 that you earn, instead of paying taxes on all $1,000 of that, you only need to pay taxes on the $950. Unfortunately, you cannot withdraw your money until you are 59 and a half. And if you really need to or want to, you're going to have to pay a 10% early withdrawal fee as well as the tax taxes that you have to pay. That's why you need to always remember that retirement plans are not liquid. They're not like a savings account where, yeah, it'll maybe take a day for me to get my money. No, this is a retirement plan. You're gonna have to wait a very long time. You may as well act like you took some money and put it in the trash, but you'll get it years down the road. There's many different types of 401ks. There's even self-employed 401ks, but that's just the general basics so you know what a 401k plan is. So are they still worth it in 2020? You may be wondering why, because of the great benefits, like great tax benefits and employer matching, and it's just a great way to build wealth for your retirement, right? So what's the big problem? To be honest, not much has changed in these plans in the few 40 years that it's been around. So I don't know why just now more and more people are speaking out against it. My best guess is now we have the internet and it gives people a platform that now they can speak against things more like everything else. The biggest problem that many people point out is the fixed contribution, fixed period style of paying out to your portfolio. No matter what the markets are doing, you're gonna be investing the same amount of money into the same portfolio every two weeks. This is where many investors have a problem because they believe this is where the potential for very large returns are basically squandered. For example, let's say that the markets go up 10% in the last week. You know, it's, it's the virus and the markets are going crazy like they do. Well, instead of being able to just hold on to your money until the markets calm down a little, you'll be putting your money into a potentially overvalued, overpriced market. My biggest issue though with this complaint is that timing the market is almost impossible. So I feel like for the general population, it's probably beneficial that they're just paying a certain amount 
every pay period instead of trying to time up the market because even the professionals have trouble timing up the market. It's basically impossible. So for the vast majority of people, it's better to just utilize dollar cost averaging and go along your merry way making a decent return. Another bad thing about 401ks is that all of the risk falls directly on the shoulders of the employee. Back in the day when pensions were a big thing, the risk really fell on the employer. But with 401k plans, it's the employee who might get screwed out of money. Another thing is that there's a little bit of issue with the taxes. While on the outside it might seem amazing, the tax deferred for 401ks, oh my gosh, I'm gonna save so much money in taxes, you actually might end up losing more money than you would have in a regular investment account. For example, let's say that you wish to invest outside of a government retirement plan and instead go into a general investment account like through Fidelity. Well, the max that you're gonna pay on your capital gains is 20%, and that's if you're making a ton of money. However, with 401ks, your money, your capital gains, is taxed as ordinary income. So whatever your tax bracket is at the time that you withdraw, you're gonna have to pay it. So if it's more than 20%, it's all, it can go all the way up to 37%. And if you know, you're 25 years old right now, you don't know what tax bracket you're gonna be at when you're 65. What if you're balling by that time and you have to pay a 37% tax rate? But again, with 401k plans, you get to erase some of the money from your income taxes, so it's still most likely gonna be beneficial for you. There's also a limited amount of investment options on your 401k, which I talked about a little bit earlier. And again, you gotta wait until later in your life to, until you can withdraw without an insane penalty. Not to mention, many people are very unaware of the fact that you do pay fees for your 401k, about a one to 3% annual fee to have a 401k account, and many people don't even know about this. So all in all, would I recommend contributing to a 401k? My answer is not a simple yes or no. All I would recommend is to utilize your employer's matching if they offer it and draw the line there. So for example, if your employer offers up to a $75 match every pay period, that's what I'd do. I'd invest $75 into your 401k, your employer will match it, and now you have 150. It'd really be kind of stupid not to take advantage of that. I mean, it's basically free money. I mean, yeah, generally companies who offer a 401k match aren't paying the highest salaries because, you know, they're giving out a 401k match, but still, you gotta take advantage of it. But I would say that the rest of the money that's not being matched, use it for other investments like a Roth IRA, general investment account, or real estate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you took something of value